if we take a look at this process, okay, you first look to uh, rewrite the exponents using the same base. Can that be done? No. If not, you go ahead and take either the common or natural log of both sides. I'm going to go ahead and stick with the natural log of 3 fifths to the x is equal to the natural log of 7 to the 1 minus x. I'm then going to move my powers out front. So I get x ln of 3 fifths is equal to 1 minus x times the ln of 7. Okay, I want to move all my terms and solve all my terms that contain the variable to one side and solve this equation. So my left side can stay just as it is. My right side I'm going to distribute the ln of x or ln of 7. And when I do, I wind up with a second term that contains my variable. So all of these terms need to be on the same side of the equation, so I'm going to move it to the left. My x ln of 3 fifths will stay exactly where it was, but I add x ln of 7 to both sides. Okay, and so in order to solve for x, I need to remove x from each of the terms. So I take out that common factor x. I'm left with ln of 3 fifths plus ln of 7. And then I solve by dividing both sides by that whole expression. And so this would be my exact answer. So these cancel. And in your homework, you'll be asked to round it to a certain number of decimal places. So I'll go ahead and calculate. Hey, when we plug that in, I'm going to take the ln of 7. And I'm going to divide by the entire quantity ln of 3 fifths plus ln of 7. Okay, I'm going to put a decimal in here so my answer is displayed as a decimal. Close off my denominator and when I hit enter I get my solution to be about 1.356 for my answer.